Hi there, it's Jason Gorman from Codemanship with another video diary entry. If you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe and uh, ring the bell for notifications. Okay, right, I've been asked to give a pep talk to some development teams for a client of mine um, on the subject of becoming a senior developer. Uh, and I wanted to share some thoughts with them about um, the things that I've seen the best senior developers doing. Um, and I thought I would share this with you first, so you're getting the preview of this little presentation. Um, so let's talk about the seven habits of the best senior developers. These, this, these are my opinions. These are things that I've observed over the last 30 years. If you've got other ideas, please leave your comments um, below. Um, but here go mine. First of all, the best senior developers I've seen have been outcome driven. They focused on achieving end results. They solve one problem at a time. They don't treat, try to eat the whole elephant in one mouthful. They invite continuous feedback in many different forms. They've learned how to learn, very important. Um, they are team players. Now, I know that sounds like a slogan, um, but it is important, uh, and we'll get to that. Um, they lead by example, and they see the arrows. They don't just see the boxes, they see the arrows between the boxes. Very important, the bigger picture. Okay, so outcome-driven. What that means is you start with the end result that you want, and you work your way backwards to the simplest solution that will achieve that. And there are many different examples of that in software development. For example, in TDD, Test Driven Development, you start by writing a test that fails that says, okay, we want it to do this. And then you work your way backwards to the simplest thing that will, will pass that test. Um, and at many other levels, for example, at the level of user stories, similar kind of a deal. There's a problem we're trying to solve here. Describe the problem, then work your way backwards to the solution. Now, if you've ever had any training or coaching from me, you'll know that I'm a big fan of working backwards from end results. I think it's a really, really important skill, not just for software developers. Um, the best software, senior software developers, they solve one problem at a time. So they can take big strides. They build complex, sophisticated solutions, but they build them through a series of small, simple, and ideally reversible steps. If we take test-driven development, that process as an example, um, we would work one feature at a time and one scenario or customer test at a time and one unit test at a time. So ultimately we're working in that, those mini sort of red green refactor loops in the core loop there, the core feedback loop. Um, so it just takes a few minutes. So we're solving one problem, get that working, solve another problem, get that working, uh, and so on and so forth. And we see many examples of this in the software development process where we're able to break very complex things down into very small steps, very small slices. Okay. Continuous feedback. The best senior developers are always looking for feedback in everything they do, whether it's feedback from running automated tests so that if you make a change to the code, you'd like to know straight away if that's broken or anything. You don't want to wait until a team of testers tells you two weeks later. Similarly, if, you, if you're if you making boo-boos in the code, um, in terms of code quality, you're not writing clean code, um, you'd like someone to tell you straight away, oh no, I think that method's getting a bit long now, isn't it? We should do something about it. You don't want to be told about it at a pull request code review a week or two later. So the best senior developers are looking for continuous feedback in everything they do. Every decision they make, basically, they would like to test that decision to see whether it really does work um, before they move on. So infinite loops, basically, infinite loops. The best senior developers, they've learned how to learn. Now, learning is essential it's core to software development it essentially is a learning process our job is not to sit at a desk and regurgitate everything we know about um java that's not what, well okay some people do do that but that's not really what we're in the business of doing we're in the business of solving problems of innovating of discovering that requires us to be continuously learning and therefore the speed at which we can learn becomes very important now this is where seniority comes in if you have wide and long experience of software development. If you worked in lots of different programming languages on lots of different platforms and lots of different business domains, following lots of different kinds of processes, um, you will tend to find that you pick things up very quickly because you're building on a foundation of existing knowledge. Programming languages are a really good example of this. It took me months to learn how to program in Commodore Basic because I wasn't just learning Commodore Basic, I was learning how to program, I was learning all these new concepts. These days, it takes me a few days, maybe a week or two to learn a new programming language because the concepts are very familiar. Often the syntaxes are very familiar as well. So I can learn programming languages provided they're based on the same concepts very, very quickly. Um, but I can extend that to all kinds of things that I've learned over the years 
that mean that it doesn't take me long to figure it out now because I've it's not my first rodeo, as it were. So this is where your seniority really comes into its own, is your ability to learn quickly. Uh, the best senior developers, they are their team players. They understand that the unit of delivery is the team. It's not about them as individual developers in the same way that a band or an orchestra is not about individual musicians. You could be the best guitar or bass player in the world, but if you're playing out of time and out of tune with the rest of the band, the end result is uh, just a lot of noise, really. Um, and I've worked with many developers who've had many years of experience um, but the, and were very, very fast when they were working on their own. But when you put them into a team, they started doing what I call um, anti-work. Anti-work is when the, the more work they do, the more they try to contribute, um, the less work the team as a whole gets done. Um, and I've seen many, many examples of this over the years. The most senior developers, they recognize that, that, that productivity works at the team level, basically, that it's all about what the team achieves. Um, and um, they they are oriented towards teamwork. They're oriented towards getting things done as a team. They understand the value of, for example, pair programming and uh, ensemble programming. They understand like things like, for example, if 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 what's one person on the team breaks the build, it's not just their problem; it's the team's problem because now the whole team is blocked from delivering. So they recognise there's no such thing as an individual developer. Um, there is only the team, basically. Although, of course, there are individuals, human beings but there's only the team when it comes to delivery. Um, uh, the best senior developers, they lead by example. Um, what I mean by that is, for example, if you think that developers would benefit, if the code would benefit, if your business would benefit from people writing unit tests, write unit tests. Don't get people into a room going, you should all write unit tests. Write unit tests, show them how to do it. Show them what you would do. And with all of these things, whether it's turning up to meetings on time or leaving work at a reasonable hour, set a good example, set a positive example for the team. The more experience you get, the more that experience becomes valuable to the rest of the team. And the best way to confer that experience on the team, rather than lecturing to them, as I'm lecturing to you now, um, is to show them what you would do and, and do it and show them by doing it, basically. So, so work with them, pair with them. Pair programming is very valuable in this. Ensembler programming is, is another great forum for passing on your experience. You don't have to eulogize about it. You don't have to dictate. You don't have to sell it to them. Just show them what you would do. Be the change you want to see in the world. Lead by example. I've met far too many developers who've written books or give lectures, etc., etc. And then when I've worked with them, I've been like, uh-huh. So that's what you actually do, is it? Right. So I've tried over my career really hard not to be that person. Um, I, I eat my own dog food. Okay, and finally, the best senior developers, they see the arrows. They step back and they see the bigger picture. So they're not just concerned with the individual boxes, the individual web services or components that they're working on. Um, they, they want to understand how these things are connected. They, they see the arrows between them because in complex systems, whether that's complex architectures or complex organizations, the complexity lies in the arrows, not in the boxes usually. Um, so you have to understand those arrows. You need to understand how what you're working on affects what everyone else is working on and see those impacts, see those dependencies. And the best senior developers, they concern themselves with the dependencies, dependencies between components in the software, dependencies between uh, teams and organizations. They see the dependencies. Um, they're seeing the bigger picture. And I think that's one of the true marks of a senior developer, a true senior developer, is they see that bigger picture. They're looking at the arrows and not just the boxes. So let's just recap. Seven habits of the best senior developers. They are outcome driven. They start with the end result and work backwards to the simplest solutions. They solve one problem at a time so they don't try to eat the whole elephant in one mouthful. Um, they invite continuous feedback in all forms. Um, they've learned how to learn, so they learn quickly. Um, they are team players. They recognize it's the team that delivers, not individual developers, and they're geared towards that. They lead by example. Um, so they eat their own dog food, basically. They set a good example, and that's how they can confer their experience onto the, uh, other developers in the team. And they see the, uh, see the arrows between the boxes. They step back and they see the bigger picture. 
Okay, so those are my thoughts, my observations of the things that I've seen from the best senior developers. If you've got any ideas of your own that you'd like to add, or if you disagree with any of these, you're very welcome to leave a comment below. Okay, I hope you're doing well. Um, these are interesting times. Stay safe until the next video diary.